deleting layers. In many of your documents, you'll have many and many layers. Usually the first thing you do in a document may be to create multiple layers. But sometimes when you do that, you may not know exactly what you would be putting on those layers or if they'll be used at all. So sometimes you try to plan ahead and create a layer, which is good to do. But what do you do at the end when there's nothing on that layer after all? Maybe a plan changed or the design just didn't call for it anymore. Well, the way we can de delete layers is by going to the properties manager. That would be this icon here under layers in the home tab. We'll go ahead and open up the layers properties manager. And as you can see, we have multiple, multiple layers. But which ones do we want to delete? Well, let's go ahead and try to delete something. If we come to here and we try and delete the zero, which is there by default, AutoCAD tells you that these cannot be deleted. The selector, selected layer was not deleted. And it gives you some reasons of why you cannot delete the layers. Four reasons why. So this layer falls into one of these categories. If we move over to the side, we can see the layer that I wanted to delete is the layer zero. So layers zero and def points cannot be deleted. So how do we know which one of these layers we needed to delete? For starters, this green check shows the status of the layer that we are currently on. Let's go ahead and try and delete that layer just to see what happens. Here again, we get one of these dialog boxes that pop up. The green check means it's the current layer. And that was one of the reasons why we cannot delete a layer. So we'll go ahead and click close. Let's try to change layers. Go back and delete this one more time. Again, we cannot delete this layer. Well, how come? Well, it ends up that this layer contains objects. So this layer is actually used. Let's see if we can isolate this one layer by itself. You can go ahead and hit Control A to select all the layers. And then we'll go ahead and hold Control and select that layer one more time. And as you can see, everything else is selected except that layer. I'll go ahead and turn them all off. And yes, I want to turn off the current layer that I'm on. We'll go ahead and close this. And as you can see, for that one layer, that's what's on it. If you go ahead and select the object, we can see the E-B-Core. You can zoom in a little bit more. And yes, there is indeed objects on this layer. You can double click the mouse wheel to put everything into zoom. And let's go back to the layers property manager one more time. We'll select it. I'll go ahead and push control A to highlight everything. Once you have something selected first, that grabs all the objects within the layers. We'll go ahead and hold control and press that layer. And then I'll go ahead and turn them all on. I'll also go ahead and turn on these chairs. And there you go. These are the layers that we have. So when you come to this status here, and we look at all these icons, each of them is blue, all the way down. That indicates that there is an object on each of those layers. So if it's blue, it has an object. If it doesn't have an object, it would be gray. So let's go ahead and look at this here. How about we go ahead and highlight all these objects, press delete, pan down a little bit. We'll highlight all of these objects here and we'll press delete because maybe we don't need them anymore or they were just an additional part of the design that's not required. Let's go back to the, the layers property manager. We'll click here. We'll scroll up and scroll down and you'll notice all the layers still say that there's something there. So what's happening? How come we deleted everything on that layer, but everything is still here? Well, our problem is we weren't completely sure that we were deleting everything on that layer. So even though we deleted a group of objects that we assumed were on a layer, it doesn't look like we deleted the entire layer as it is. So when it comes to managing layers, make sure all your objects are on the layer they're supposed to be and make sure you're deleting objects that you really want to delete. So let's go ahead and try and select all these objects one more time. 
we'll go ahead and control click this one and I'll actually switch these two layers here and I will turn all these off. I will click here to unhighlight everything and as you can see all these are blue so they're all off and I only have one layer that's turned on. I'll go ahead and close the layers properties manager, zoom out and it looks like there is actually nothing on this layer. So let's go ahead and go back to the layers property manager, come down, switch layers, keep the current layer turned off, we'll select this layer and we'll try to delete it. And there you go, it was deleted. And as you can see, some of the layers got updated. This can happen from time to time. So here was the layers we were looking for earlier and two more additional layers here and here that actually have no objects on them. Go ahead and delete that and go ahead and delete that. And then we'll delete this layer too. We'll close this and now we still don't see anything because currently we have all the layers turned off. So let's go turn them all back on again. Managing layers is very important and as you can see sometimes there can be bugs when you think you're deleting something from a layer and it still shows that something is there. So make sure to take your time when dealing with layers. They provide you great control for moving objects around, providing color, and assigning other properties as well.